Now let's solve question number three. In this question, you have choice. That means you can solve either first part or the second part. So first of all, let's discuss the solution of the first part. That means here this question is from introduction to trigonometry. Now let's solve this question. This is the given equation. We'll solve this question using the concept relation between complementary angles in different trigonometric ratios. So we can easily convert this tan 2a as cot 90 degrees minus 2a. And on the right hand side, we have cot a minus 24 degrees. And when we compare both sides of this given equation, you will obtain 90 degrees minus 2a is equal to a minus 24 degrees. After further simplification, we will obtain the value of a as 38 degrees. So this is the answer for this question. And this step will give you half mark for this question. And the final answer will give you rest half mark for this question. I hope you understood. Now let's move on to the optional part of this question. Again, this question is from introduction to trigonometry. This is very simple and straightforward question based on the trigonometric identities. That means sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now let's solve this question. This is the given expression. So simply we can write sine square 33 degrees plus sine square. We are replacing this 57 degrees by 90 degrees minus 33 degrees. So using the concept complementary relation between different trigonometric ratios, we can replace this sin 90 minus theta by cos theta. So in the next step, we are obtaining sin square 33 degrees plus cos square 33 degrees. So clearly we are getting the first identity sin square theta plus cos square theta. So this is equal to 1 and this is the final answer for this question. That means the value of this given expression is 1. Now come to the marking scheme. This step will give you half mark and this final answer will give you rest half mark for this question. I hope you understood this question. Now let's proceed to the next one. Now let's proceed to question number 4. This question is from arithmetic progression. And the question states, how many two digit numbers are divisible by three? That means in this question, we have to find all two digit numbers which are divisible by three. So the smallest one is 12. Thereafter 15, 18, then 21 and so on up to 99. That means these are the numbers which are divisible by three. And we can clearly notice all these numbers are in arithmetic progression because they are having common difference 3. Here the first term is 12. So using this arithmetic progression, we can easily find the number of terms in this given series. So let's consider the number of terms in the given series be n. Let the number of terms be n. So the nth term will be the last number 99 and using the formula of nth term a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula to obtain the nth term of any arithmetic progression. Using this formula, the nth term 99, first term 12 n we have to find and the value of d that is the common difference is 3. So here we are getting a linear equation in one variable n and after further simplification we will obtain the value of n is equal to 30 and this is the answer for this question. That means you can say there are 32 digit numbers which are divisible by 3 and this is the required answer. So you can write hence the number of two digit numbers divisible by 3 is 
30. This is the final answer for this question. Now come to the marking scheme. So here this step when you find the first term common difference will provide you half mark for this question and the value of n will give you rest half mark for this question. I hope you understood this solution. Now let us proceed to the next question. Now let us discuss next question that is question number 5. This question is from chapter triangles and the question states in figure 1 DE is parallel to BC, AD is equal to 1 centimeter and BD is equal to 2 centimeter and this question further states what is the ratio of the area of triangle ABC that means complete triangle to the area of triangle ADE. Now let us solve this question. So we are taking the same diagram and in this diagram DE is parallel to BC that means angle ADE is equal to angle ABC corresponding angles. Similarly angle AED is equal to angle ACB again forming a pair of corresponding angle and with the help of this relation you can write triangle ADE is similar to triangle ABC using AA similarity criterion. And friends, you have studied in chapter triangles, the ratio of area of two similar triangle is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides. This is very important theorem. So using this theorem, you can further conclude area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle ADE is equal to AB square upon AD square because AB and AD are corresponding sides of two similar triangles. And when you put the values of AB and AD according to the given question, 1 centimeter, 2 centimeter. So the length of line segment AB is equal to 1 plus 2, 3 centimeter. So you can further write 3 upon 1 whole square. That means 9 upon 1. So you have to find the ratio. So you can further write area of triangle A. BC is to area of triangle ADE is equal to 9 is to 1 and this is the final answer for this question. Now come to the marking scheme. So here this step when you proved triangle ADE is similar to triangle ABC will give you half mark for this question and rest half mark on this step. So I hope you understood this question. Now let us proceed to the next one. 